Now the 80211 standards initially defined three frame types. They are called data control and management. And every Mac frame that's sent between an 80211 client and an 80211 access point will be one of these frame types. Now at the beginning of this lesson we talked about authentication and association and beacons and those are management frames and we use those to actually create and maintain a connection between the station, the client and the access point. There are also control frames when you're sending data sometimes before sending the data you'll do a request to send and you'll request the access point can I send some data and the access point will respond back with a clear to send we also saw acknowledgement. Those are control frames. Those are used to help manage and assist in the exchange of data. Can I send some data? Yes, you can send some data here. I'm acknowledging that that data was received successfully. So those are control frames. And of course, data frames is the frame that's actually containing your user data. In 80211, the initial standards define sending one frame at a time. So you send one frame, get an acknowledgement, send another frame, get an acknowledgement, send another frame, get an acknowledgement. And we would take turns. Whoever calculated the shorter backup period would transmit first. And then they'd send one frame. And then again, whoever calculated the shorter backoff period would then send their frame. And so we share the RF medium using these backoff periods. And whoever calculated the shorter backoff period can then go ahead and transmit a frame. But it's not possible to hog the whole medium to send a big video stream because we're giving you access to it one frame at a time. Now, as quality of service was added to the specifications, it's now introduced a transmission opportunity and you can now send multiple frames within a transmission opportunity. So I can say, OK, you've got the medium for 10 milliseconds, transmit what you want during that time. But that was an enhancement with 802.11e quality of service.